Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood of the Goldston Methodist Church, and today we're wrapping up the second chapter of Colossians, reading chapter 2, verses 20 through 23. Hear now these words. Since you died with Christ to the elemental spiritual forces of this world, why, as though you still belonged to the world, do you submit to its rules? Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch. These rules, which have to do with things that are all destined to perish with use, are based on merely human commands and teachings. Such regulations indeed have an appearance of wisdom with their self-imposed worship, their false humility, and their harsh treatment of the body, but they lack any value in restraining sensual indulgence. Hmm. Paul seems to be talking about rules and regulations. And I find it fascinating that when Paul is talking about this, my my first thought goes to the way that Jesus was interacting with the Pharisees and how the Pharisees were all caught up in obeying their rules and they lost their connection to God because they focused on the wrong thing. Well, today, as Christians, we still can often get caught focusing on the wrong things. I think about the holiness movement that Wesleyan Methodism is a part of. And too many times we have got caught up in rule making and rule following. And as a result, we've lost our focus on the ruler. Maybe you've heard the phrase, you can't legislate morality. I think there's a lot of truth to that. When the holiness movement gets caught up on don't drink, don't dance, don't chew, and don't go out with girls that do, (laughs) we're missing the point. It's not the alcohol or the card playing or the dancing or the tobacco chewing, smoking, anything that you can think of as a vice in this world. Those things in and of themselves are just things. And whether we do them or whether we don't do them, when it's all about a rule, then we're losing our impact on the ruler. Let me go back to the beginning. Since you died with Christ to the elemental spiritual forces of this world, have you indeed died with Christ? Have you given everything about yourself to him. Are you still holding on to some things? You see, if we just give our allegiance to Jesus in a transactional standpoint, yes, I believe Jesus died for my sins. Come, Lord Jesus. If we treat that as just the same thing we do when we click on a software terms of service agreement, we don't pay attention to the words, we don't pay attention to the stipulations, we just click it and go on. If that's the way we treat Christianity, then we're not really Christians. Did you hear me? If all you're doing is focusing on a rule or a lack of a rule, if you're only giving lip service to Jesus but giving heart service to yourself, then you and I aren't Christians. We are not true followers of Jesus. So if we get caught up in rules and regulations, if we get caught up on trying to make our own way, we are not following the way the truth, the life. Jesus said that was him. No one comes to the Father except through him. So let's die with him, the ruler of all. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next daily devotion.